This is the Pixboom Spark, and this is the first really affordable high-speed camera. Let's check it out. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Cinedy, and I'm here with Dr. Quan from Pixboom. How are you? Yeah, great. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's the first time that I'm interviewing this gentleman, but this is one of those people that are about to um, help us to revolutionize the industry. And I'll explain in a second, because what do we see here, Mr. Yeah. Quan? Uh, this is a su slow -mo uh, super slow-mo camera uh, by Pixel. It, we named it Spark. It's a, like, uh, it can do like 1,000 FPS at 4K resolution and 1,800 at 2K resolution. Yeah, uh, and it has a like a BSI global shutter. Uh, it's a super 45 sensor, and the high speed image and can directly stream into the SSD. And it's not in the buffer mode; it's like in continuous mode uh, and in, uh, with high resolution. Uh, like it's, it's uh, 4.6K uh, open gate and uh, the, with the high. Yeah. So let's let's try again in, I, in yeah, slow so motion. In slow motion. Uh, we, tr we, we try. In, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, yeah. That's a lot of information oh, yeah, yeah. for the first time for our audience. Uh, so what I would like to start with, first of all, about the idea. Uh, yeah, yeah. When did you think about this idea? Because obviously, uh -huh. this is uh, in the industry, we have Phantom, which uh, is very yeah, yeah, expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the market was literally empty. Mm -hmm. when, when did you start to think about the idea and the design? Oh, actually, it, it's a long story. Uh, it's about uh, 10 years ago when I went to the university to purchase a PhD in the in electronic engineering. We, do, uh, we, we did uh, like computational imaging at that time, and we uh, built a uh, super high-speed camera. It's uh, like crazy, uh, like uh, 50,000 uh, uh, 50, FPS uh, for like scientific use and industrial use is not for creators. But after that, we, we think, uh, why not build uh, like a nice and uh, performance uh, easy to use camera for content creators so that uh, we, we, we build Spark, yeah. Okay, so that was kind of uh, the idea started 10 years ago, uh, yeah, 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 maybe. but actually establishing the company and uh -huh. making the prototype, yeah. when that happened? Uh, it's like uh, about two years ago. Three years ago, uh, you've been? Two years ago, yeah. Okay, so now we have working prototypes here, uh, yeah. finally. Yeah. What uh, what will be the next step after prototyping? When do you think you will go into production? Oh, I, actually, we are we we will officially launch on Kickstarter next week, and we will like uh, turn into mass production, and we will expect to shipping uh, next year uh, in the first quarter. Yeah. Okay. So first, uh, I mean, again, congratulations because yeah, thank you. This yeah. is really amazing. You guys will hear the prize in a second, and I think that it's kind of heard, an unheard of in our industry. Uh, but I would like to talk about uh, specifications for a yeah, second. Sure. So you said it's a super 35 uh -huh. global back, back, uh, yeah, back side eliminated. Eliminated, uh, sensor. Yep. What, uh, what is the advantage of having such a sensor in a slow motion camera? Oh, actually, we all know that uh, for high, super slow mo, we need uh, uh, the lighting is very important. Uh, and for the backside emulation, we provide uh, about four times more brighter than traditional FSI sensors. So that's it. That's it. Okay, that's very straightforward. Now, since we're talking about a lot of data, mm -hmm. you, you mentioned that it's recording oh, in RAW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you control it and what type of RAW is it or how, how do you manage it? Oh, yeah, actually, uh, like uh, we, we uh, 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 take out of the like, high speed uh, data flow from the sensor and then process and then and string the, into our SSD. It's a very high speed SSD that supports uh, the, the uh, recording, uh, continuous recording and uh, in our P PXBC format developed by ourselves uh, on a computer or uh, like a PC or Mac OS, we provide a, an app to convert the PXBC format into cinema DNG. And you can use it anywhere like a Resolve, a Premiere, something like that. And the connectivity between the camera uh -huh. and the magazine, the SSD magazine uh -huh. uh, disk, is it uh, proprietary or this is something which is common? Oh, like yeah. It's our uh, proprietary. It's developed by ourselves. It's uh, just like uh, you can, it's uh, unpluggable actually. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, when you finish the recording, you just plug it out uh, from the camera and, and you can connect to your computer via uh, a USB C cable. We don't need any kind of car reader, you know, just a USB C cable. Uh, and you can download the footage from the uh, SSD to your computer. Yeah. 
in your marketing publications, uh -huh. you write that this is uncontinuous recording. Uh -huh. What do you mean by uncontinuous? Like un 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 continuous un recording. Exactly, sorry. Continuous oh. recording, uninterrupted recording. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, we know that uh, for traditional high-speed uh, camera, uh, it's like working in a buffer mode. Uh, then you can only record uh, like uh, uh, several seconds to like tens of seconds. And it's a uh, loop, loop, loop. And, and because we have a very high-speed SSD, uh, we can directly stream the video into the SSD. Uh, it, it's not uh, in, in a loop mode, but uh, it just work like an ordinary camera. So uh, for the open gate and highest resolution uh, and, and the highest frame rate at, at that resolution, we, uh, we can support about seven minutes recording. It's continuous, sorry. yeah. Amazing. Was it important for you to do open gate? And if yes, why? Why do you think open gate is important in such a camera? Oh, actually, uh, like uh, OpenGate, because uh, like uh, we will want to provide uh, all flexibility to content crea creators. Because uh, like some some creators use anamorphic lenses, and like uh, some use uh, like uh, uh, want to have diff different kinds of resolutions. Uh, so we provide all resolutions that the sensor support to, to our creators. Like uh, not not only uh, OpenGate, but uh, we can set customized uh, resolutions and get different maximized frame rate at different resolutions. Yeah. Let's talk quickly about the resolutions and the frame rates. Just, uh, I'm sure there are quite many, but which one will, will give the best result? Oh, like uh, uh, personally, I, I I love the 4K, uh, DCI 4K, it, 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 it's like 4K and with uh, 1,000 uh, frames per, per second. Uh, that's my favorite. Because it's the best quality, or you just like to see things flying around in 4K uh, yeah, DCI? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because 4K is like more mostly using content creation. That is like uh, uh, point to point, and also like 1,000 FPS as uh, 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 like very good uh, FPS uh, to shoot most of the scenes, like water, like uh, uh, food, uh, something uh, small, something like that, like that. Very nice. So the camera itself. What mount will we have here? What kind of lenses can we connect to? Oh, actually, uh, like uh, uh, on the camera, this is our uh, uh, our Pixbo mount, and we uh, we provide two kinds of adapter. One is E mount adapter uh, to uh, uh, another is a PL mount adapter to connect to, to these uh, two kinds of lenses. Are those with electronic connectors, or those are just what we call dumb uh, connectors? Actually, the adapters uh, support electronic communications, and that. What what will be the end result? Autofocus or uh, why do we need electronic communication here? Oh yeah, actually uh, uh, because um, uh, most modern lenses uh, need like uh, uh, electronic uh, communication to to adjust the uh, iris and to like uh, even do many focus. We uh, we still need uh, electronic uh, supply and. And uh, about for autofocus, uh, we haven't uh, implemented autofocus on these versions of uh, firmware. But uh, like uh, we are all, also like uh, uh, taking considerations to Im implement that in the future. Like, yeah. Very nice. When it comes to powering the camera, I see a V-mount button here. Uh, yeah. Are there any other ways or form to power the camera? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Like uh, as if we, can, we can see, uh, like we have V-lock here, and we also have DC input is support like. Uh, uh, 15 volts to like 24 volts and, and an interesting fact about the power system is like we support hot swap, uh, swap of the battery that uh, that means when you plug in the uh, DC supply uh, cable uh, you can like just take out the uh, uh, V mount battery and it's still working and you can uh, like uh, plug in a new one and, and, and you can like uh, remove the, the DC supply and it's still working yeah very nice. When it comes to pricing, because you already mentioned availability early next year, yeah. but when it comes to pricing, and this is the most surprising mm -hmm. thing, how much people are going to uh, pay for a body like this? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Great. Great question. And we are on Kickstarter and uh, next week. And so the super early, uh, early bird price will be like 7499 US dollars uh, with uh, one camera, one adapter, and one SSD included. And uh, when uh, we, we will uh, on Kickstarter for one month, and after that, uh, the MSRP of the Spark it will be like um, 13K US dollars. Just between us, because nobody is watching or listening. Oh, really? <laughs> How can you achieve such a competitive price? Oh, actually, we did lo a lot of technology innovations, like to de develop high, uh, like high efficiency algorithms, and uh, to optimize the, like uh, the, uh, uh, like uh, the uh, computational and uh, uh, combinations, uh, uh, computational uh, need of, of the uh, like data processing to uh, so that we can use like uh, 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 more. Uh, 
compact and more lightweight hardware to, to handle such a uh, data, data rate. So, so we can make it uh, like a, at all a uh, friendly price. Yeah. Good. Anything before I say thank you and goodbye? Anything that you want to mention about the camera? Anything that I forgot? Yeah, and, and nothing but that. I just like to thank all all the uh, friends and all the uh, creators that support us. Uh, it's, uh, it's you that uh, bring Spark to life with us all. Yeah, uh, so thank you. Guys, this gentleman will be remembered as the person who revolutionized the slow motion or the high frame rate uh, industry. Cameras like this up until now cost thousands, as of, ten of, tens of thousands of dollars or maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this is the first time that I think you are able to put within the reach of many creators really high frame rate. So thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet yeah, you. Nice thank to you. Meet you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Yeah. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.